Okay, I want to show you a different technique for securing this catheter in place uh, using kind of the provided um, areas here. Uh, some people like to suture each hole individually, um, but other people prefer to just do one loop that goes in through one side and out the other. Um, there are pluses and minuses. I guess in theory it's more secure if you have two because uh, if one breaks, you at least have one. But some people believe that it just sits a little bit more nicely um, when you're just doing one loop because you don't have kind of two things pulling in different directions. Uh, and then it's also easier to kind of remove the catheter because you just can cut one very easily and it's just one loop. So there's pluses and minuses. Um, it's good to kind of be familiar, I guess, with both and see what you prefer. So you can take something like your 2O ethylon and first, you'll numb up this, you know, the skin generally um, right underneath where you're going to be poking because it's not anesthetized like your, you know, the area of your tunneling. And there's a few ways to even do this, but I think, you know, maybe one of the easiest ways is just to kind of take a big bite in the area that your catheter will be sitting in. Okay. And then what you can do is feed your needle through one of these side holes here. Okay. And at this point, you can, um, you know, cut your needle off. and just bury it. So you have one suture coming in through one side hole and then what you can do is just take the other one and feed it through the other side. Okay. And now what you have here is just a very easy setup to just kind of suture. And at this point you don't really have to worry about you know, air knots or anything like that. Um, you just kind of can suture it pretty, f you know, pretty tightly if you want to, um, because it'll be pretty easy to cut um, based off the shape of this apparatus. You don't want to overdo it, but this is why this is kind of the advantage of doing it this way, where some people think it just sits a little bit more nicely against the skin because you don't have to deal with kind of making two air knots. You just have um, something that's pretty flush. Now, but if this suture breaks, then you, know, you only have one suture. Um, but basically, you know, you're done. And then if you ever need to remove it, it's very easy. There's just room here. You don't need an air knot. You don't, you're not going to cut underneath here. You're just going to cut along the suture right there. So I think this is one uh, pretty elegant way to kind of suture these tubes in place.